Hello and welcome to Five and Five. We have the fabulous Vicky Chu with us today. Vicky is the brand director for APAC at JLL. Thanks for joining us, Vicky. Thank you for having me. So we are going to spin the spinning wheel of categories, uh, which will determine what we're going to talk about today. So um, without further ado, let me share this. Okay, I'm gonna spin the wheel and tell me what category it lands on. Dun, 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 dun. I can't see anything just yet. Can you not? Yeah, I see it now. Okay, spinning, spinning. You know what? Because I've had failure the last round, so I, I, I want something new. Okay, let's let's do. <laughs> do we go with change? <laughs> That's in between. Can you see it? Okay, change is good. Okay. Okay. All right, so change. Um, what do you think, what, so what changes do you think your industry would benefit in making? And perhaps you can give us a little bit of a, a, a quick overview of your industry. Of course, well, um, JLL is one of the leading uh, corporate real estate um, firms in the world. And with that, we are a very purpose-driven brand and we actually have a big focus on um, kind of sustainability and I think um, one, one of the main things we're trying to do right now is to uh, uh, you know, promote our um, brand purpose which is uh, we shape the future of real estate for a better world and we really have um, practiced what we preach and sustainability is the forefront of everything that we do and so with that said, uh, being said real estate is um, the real estate industry accounts for 40 percent of uh, the world's um, carbon emissions wow. and as industry have a big responsibility to do something about that and you know and we I think as leaders in the real estate industry we need to set clear goals that are measurable and accountable in every aspect of the business. For sure and I mean it's an industry that I imagine with people working from home now or you know the situation that we're in has been quite hard hit. Um, are there massive changes that are being implemented because of that? Um, yes, well, of course, uh, working from home is kind of, kind of the norm now, the new normal. And so, um, but we are seeing lots of um, companies going back into the office and we're having, helping our clients try and come up with ways to re-enter back into the office and reimagine what the new office is gonna be like. So uh, we're offering lots of guidance and best practices with that. And it's right now we're seeing that it's really about flexibility and personal choice. Cause um, as we were saying before, it's about what you're comfortable with now. And so we are living in a new normal. And so it's about making it work for whatever style that you're now comfortable with. Okay, fantastic. And what is your favorite example of change of business? So sort of, you know, or, or, you know, or personal, seeing a change or a transition. Could you give us an example? Ooh, okay, well, I think I'm gonna kind of give you an example of a person that I think really embodies change. I think um, the young Greta Thunberg is really, some, she, she just embodies change for me. She like lives and breathes the changes that she wants to see in the world. And I just find her incredible. Yeah, that's a good one. She is. She's really a champion for change, and um, yeah, people to change and businesses to change, and really being very unapologetic about it as well. And I like that about her. That's great. Um, when is so okay? That's an example of someone that embodies change in a good way. When is change bad, or is can change be bad? Well, I think if change is not. Uh, well thought out it can be bad and it's if it's not well communicated it can be bad um, but also it's um, of course change can be an opportunity or an exciting um, aspect for different people so it's, it's how about, it's about how you manage that change and how you communicate that change to make sure everyone feels comfortable about it so yeah if forcing a change on people it's about bringing people along with the journey uh, it's almost like changing, but not changing too quickly and managing the expectations as you change. <laughs> no one likes sudden change, right? it's, um, especially if it's like um, to their detriments. Yeah. 
I don't know, I know it's tough times. So, okay, last question. Um, you know, you, you head up marketing for JLL. Um, how have, have you experienced marketing budgets changed? I mean, that, you know, that, that's the times we're living in, that's gonna be affected. Yeah, from a brand perspective, I look after our brand budget. And so a lot of, um, there's a lot of pressure to, of course, measure um, what we deliver more than ever. And with brand, of course, you know, there's um, metrics, are obviously, but, but they're more long-term brand building. But now we're seeing a lot of um, more, um, we're seeing a lot of pressure to connect it back to, to uh, kind of how it helps the business immediately and returns. So there's, um, it's, it's, we're not saying like brand building is dead, but I think it just takes um, a little bit more convincing of the business right now and making sure that they see the value of building the brand right now. Um, and it's also that it's, it's trying to get our money to go a little bit further as well, not just spend it on um, pure brand building is, is kind of like the ideal, but I think uh, we need to be a bit more flexible, think about how budgets can help support the business in like the direct business lines as well. Okay, thank you. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure talking with you, Vicky. Thank you very much for your time. Um, I don't know if you have uh, anything last uh, thing that you want to add <laughs> i mean change is always um it's, it's always uncertain of course but i think it's about your personal attitude towards change and being resilient resilient um along the way and you know there's probably a lot more changes ahead so i think we're all going to be here for the long haul so change is always going to be constant now well thank you very much for that those awesome parting words and um i'll speak to you again soon this has been Five and Five.